Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to TLI On Demand. My name is Steve Feld. Today, we're going to be talking about setting up a professional LinkedIn profile, as well as setting up a page for your Toastmaster group. We're going to go through the basics and give you some of the details because LinkedIn is completely different than Facebook, than Instagram, and all the other platforms. This is a professional networking platform. This is not the place to post pictures on your about your food, about your shoes, those kind of things. You are going to be posting things of content of, to get engagement, things that are helping people in the business world in many different areas. You can even be giving teaching away, whatever it is. This is a professional networking of area. So please treat it as such. The people on LinkedIn treat it as a professional platform. They're not out there just posting to be posting. They usually have a strategy behind it. I've been showing many, many business owners over the years how to increase their engagement on LinkedIn and to have a great profile so you can start attracting your ideal customers. It is no different than in your Toastmaster Club. You want to attract people to your club. And by doing that, you need to have a professional looking personal page and then as well as the group or business page. So we're going to start off. I'm going to share my screen with you and show you a whole bunch of great things. So please make sure you're ready to take some notes. You can always refer back to this video and then build your own professional page. And if you already have a LinkedIn profile up, Maybe you're going to get some tips and tricks from here that's going to help you increase your engagement and make your profile look way more professional than what I see every day. I'm on LinkedIn six days a week. I use many of the other tools that LinkedIn has to offer on a daily basis. And I'm telling you, folks, I see a lot of bad profiles out there. And those are the people I've talked to them. They are wondering why. No one's engaging with them. No one's connecting with them. They're not getting any business out of LinkedIn. It's because of their profile. So we want you to have a fantastic professional looking profile. So I hope you're ready. Here we go. So I'm going to share my screen with you here. What I did is set up a, well, a fake profile. So we can start from scratch. When you go to LinkedIn, they'll say to sign in or sign up. If you're new to LinkedIn, sign up. It's all the basic stuff, your name, your email. You have to verify your email address. And then they're going to ask you many questions like, do you want to set up your profile now or do you want to wait? Just go ahead and skip, skip, skip. That's all I did to get to this page right here. As you can see, it's pretty darn blank. This is what a lot of profiles actually look like on LinkedIn, which is pretty bad, actually. So the first thing we're going to look at is what they call the banner. This is the banner ad. A great thing to do is go to Canva and create your banner ad. And a lot of people are thinking, what should I put on that banner ad? Think of this as a billboard on a highway. This is advertising space. Utilize it. Don't make it always all about you. And I'm going to use this term a lot throughout my presentation. It's called WIFM, and it's W-I-I-F-M. The famous radio station called What's In It For Me, You're Not The Me, Your Target Market Is The Me. So whatever you do, it has to be about WIFM. It's about them. So in this area, put a good banner. For simplicity's sake and speeding things along, instead of going to Canva and creating something unique and wonderful, I'm just going to pick one that they already have. I highly recommend do not do this. Do not use one of these. People who come to your profile and see this now know, wow, you're pretty lazy. They probably don't want to do business with you. You want something that represents you. What is it? The next thing I see is your profile picture. Okay, on Facebook, you can have the picture with your dog and your cat and all these kind of other things. Remember, LinkedIn is a professional networking social media site. Have a professional headshot. 
you might be thinking, well, I can't afford a photographer. I don't know a photographer. I don't want to go through all that mess. Fine. Get dressed up. Go find a nice place. Have a friend who can actually hold a camera steady. Put you in some good light and take some photos. The cameras nowadays on phones will work just fine. But you must, you must, must, must have a photo of yourself. Many times people leave it just like this. Or they'll put something so generic. So I'm going to put a photo up here and I'm going to do something just a little bit different just so we can have some fun. Albert Einstein, why not? But that's a pretty good headshot of him, right? So as you can see, you can zoom, you can straighten, you can do some filters, adjusting, do all that ahead of time. But have a professional headshot is the whole point of that. Next, your name. This is also golden real estate. A lot of people put in there, president. So if I come to this Bob Smith's personal page here and I see president, president of what? It's not giving me enough information to really engage and keep on reading. So remember, it's all about WIPM. So here's where you can change your name if you have titles like MBA, DTM, and I'd recommend DTM does not mean anything in the professional world. It only means something in the Toastmaster world. So I would not put DTM on there. But if you're a doctor, MBA, put something like that in there. Headline, this is golden real estate. This is where you can actually attract your right customer who it's for. So who do you want? Do you want, say, business owners, owners who want to alleviate frustration without therapy? <laughs> All right, because I'm typing, of course, that's when I start making typos. How about fruition? Let's go with fruition. Let's have some fun. So elevate fruition without therapy. That gives a little bit more. But put in here, who are you trying to target and give them a solution? This gives them a little bit more than president. You can name the name of your company at the end. And how a lot of people do it is just put up a little wall. It separates everything. Slashes are starting to get a little bit too much. People are getting a little crazy, but you want them to breathe a little bit. And then maybe, you know, a dog trainer. How's that? Let's have some fun. Put in your position. Fill in all these things. So you always want to show your current company in your intro. That way, if someone is searching for you anywhere, then they can actually see this part of it. That's why it's so critical to nail this headline. Put it all in. Fill it in. What is your industry? Be specific. Put as much in there as you can put. Go for it. And it gives you some options. I'm not going to complete all these sections because it does take a long time. Put your education if it is relevant to your position. If you're a, C if you're a CPA, your education is critical. Okay, where did you go to school and did you get an accountancy degree? That's very critical. Your location, postal code, and city. Fill this in. Another thing that a lot of people just don't fill in is their contact information. This is also critical. Do you want people to contact you or not contact you? Don't worry, folks, that's not a real number. And then maybe it's your work, but fill all this in. Your address, okay, for privacy, if you don't have like a brick and mortar store, I would say you could probably leave your address off. Your birthday, do you want people to see your birthday? Just do month and day. Let's go for it. Pick any date. There we go. And then add in your websites. What are what is your website? Bob. And what kind of website is it? Make sure to complete as much information as possible. The more information you actually put in your profile, it does many different things. 
First, it helps your analytics on LinkedIn that because you filled in everything and LinkedIn loves when you fill in everything. So they give you a little bit better treatment. Another thing is we're going to put in keywords, hashtags, all these kind of things to increase your SEO, your search engine optimization. That's why I say everything needs to be completed. So go ahead and complete things. If you have instant messenger, WhatsApp, whatever the case may be, do it. Add all your websites in here. Complete everything. Because when people go to check you out, here's where they're going to go. That's where that information goes. Contact info. Oh, maybe it doesn't like it. Because I'm in it. You can actually add more sections. So what else do you want? Fill in everything you possibly can. If you're looking for a job, fill that in. Are you hiring? Fill that in. There's more options. This can go on and on. Look through the options and fill it in. So see, it's even telling me, hey, I still have three steps to go to achieve all-star. You want to be an all-star. Add your education. Where did you go to school? Let's go with uh, Arizona State because I am in Arizona. I did not go to Arizona State University, so don't pick on them. Don't pick on me about that. Your bachelor's. Let's go with accounting. Why not? Oh, let's go with that master's. And field of study. Now accounting. Fill in as much as possible. When did you go? Hey, fast learner. Well, I don't want to take that long in school, but go ahead and complete your education. People actually do look at it. Another reason you want to complete your education to the best ability, LinkedIn's going to give you options to connect with people that went to school with or the same school with you. So fill that in. It is critical. Private uh, analytics, I'd say definitely start looking through it. Once you start getting profile views, we want to get eyeballs on your profile. So by filling in all these things, you can. Creator mode, this is where if you're putting out blogs, vlogs, articles, whatever you want to call it, get a creator, get in creator mode. It kind of gives your analytics a little bit of a boost, and it actually highlights you as a, an approved creator. So it takes a few steps, but it's easy. So who is in your network? We don't have anyone there, but when you do, it's all... So it's going to be all completed. So you can look at other areas. Put in as much as possible your demographics, maybe your activity. What do you want to share with people? This is where you control your privacy. Control all your privacy. I'll show you that in here in a minute. All right. Now let's get down to experience. So I just put in president, self-employed when I set up the account. I highly, highly recommend filling all this in. What is your name? Location? Do you work there? What is your industry? Your description? The more you put in, remember, it's giving them information. So don't say I, I, I. Don't talk in third person, please. This is not someone going to read this out loud to introduce you on stage. Write as, you can say, I went to the school, but if I was here, what do I do? This is my golden time to really showcase myself, my business, whatever it is. Put it in here. If you have a job and you want to move up that ladder, this is critical. Put in what's called SARS. And it was this, it's the situation, the action you took, the result that came out from that action, and then the statistics. Get those analytics in there. So if you did like a process improvement at, at your work, say my boss had me on a project to do X, Y, Z, and then I did this, I brought on a team, and here's the results, here's the statistics, put that in the description, not I did taxes. See the difference? One's engaging, one is letting us know about you and going, oh, I need to hire this person or I need to connect with this person or do business with this person or learn more about this person versus, oh, good, they're an accountant. They do taxes. So does, you know, half a million other people on the platform. So what? 
complete this. Use all the characters you possibly can in your profile headline. Don't fill it up with BS. Fill it up with things that would interest people to get eyeballs on your account. Put in skills. You want to use as many skills as you can. See how it auto-populates when you start writing? Max this thing out. Fill it all in. Suggested, just based on things. Maybe it's suggesting things. Media. If you have like a YouTube page or something else about you, it's always good to have like a little video about you. It introduces you to someone else. It's not like, oh, well, I was born in Phoenix, Arizona. And I was raised by my parents. None of that. Let us know about you. What do you do? How, who do you help? How do you serve them? Complete that as much as possible. Make a little video about yourself. I'm making a video for this. Why not? You can do it for yourself. Oh, starting end dates. See, it'll let you know. Yeah, we'll just say I currently work here. Okay. Let's see if it'll let me go on without filling all that in. Okay. That's still not enough, but you get the gist. Otherwise, we'd be here forever watching, having you watch me type. That's not too fun. So if you like using pronouns, it's telling you to add pronouns. I'm going to skip over that. Education we covered. Skills we covered. Interest. This is where you could go follow someone. So maybe you like Gary Vee. Great. Follow him. Who do you like? Who do you like to follow? Who do you want to start seeing in your feed? Find those interests and put them in there. One thing I was looking for, and it's not in here right away, is the about me section. So let's start a, you could start posts from here. You can start posts from your main feed. Plenty of ways to start the post. Here's where you can build your resume about your profile. As you can see, save it to a PDF. And then put a profile messenger if you like to send messenger. messenger. So we want to add a profile section. The core, it's about, like, say, add about. That's what we're looking for. You want to use this one. This is the key real estate on your LinkedIn profile is the about you. Now, don't, like I've been saying, don't make it just about you. When people come to your profile, they want to know about you. Yes but don't make it about you. Now there's a difference. One is like, who do you serve? What are their problems, their issues? How do you solve them? And then how they can get a hold of you. So in your about section, like I said, don't give them your whole life story. That is not what people want to read. Really, do you want to read someone else's life story that you just don't know anything about? They're not famous? Probably not. So this is where you shine. Use this area. So I'm going to put what you need to put in your about me. So who do I serve? <laughs> who do you serve? One little quick paragraph. Next one. What are their problems? What is it? Revenue, whatever the case may be. How do you solve them? These are each a paragraph, small paragraphs. And your call to action. Maybe you have a consultation, whatever, an introduction call. Maybe you have a video to give away. Put that in there. And a lot of times I would say, just put in something, a simple contact info. You already have your contact portion filled out. That's where they're going to go to contact you. So don't waste real estate here. Because remember, everything character centric. But maybe your email address, your phone number, website. Maybe you're giving away a free video. Get, do something but utilize this area. Max every character out if using it properly. I'm a big proponent. I think I have one character left on my whole about me and not really one thing is about me. It's about how I serve and help others. That's what drives people to get engagement with me. I usually get about, it doesn't sound like a lot, about 10 inquiries, 10 people try to connect with me per day. Well, that's 70 people per week. That adds up pretty darn fast. So currently I'm knocking on the door at 15,000 connections. You can only, you have to max, it maxes you out at 30,000 connections. So we got 
a little ways to go. What I'm stressing to you here is make your profile enticing for others to engage with you. So if you're looking for members, they're going to come to your personal profile first. They want to check you out. Are you legit? Then you can go to other places and they might go now to the your Toastmaster Club group page, whatever. But complete your profile. Remember, make it about them, your target market. It is highlighting you, showcasing you, but it's showcasing you how you help and serve others. That's what attracts people. That's why people engage with you. I would even recommend, look at people you know, search their profile, which is right here. Search their profile and see what they're in. So look at that. They're giving me tips. This is a brand new account. So they, they're trying to get me hired somewhere. Maybe they like my profile. The analytics are working. But if you know people on LinkedIn, search them. Take a look at their profiles. You can do all different kinds of searches here. That's one great thing. Your network is everyone who's connected to you. Well, I don't have anyone connected to me right now. This is brand new. All my pages, newsletters, hashtags, everything. They recommend people. And they recommend them by across LinkedIn. So a few famous folks. They also recommend across LinkedIn. So something that might be relevant in your area. Newsletters for you to follow or to subscribe to. Things that you might be interested in. Remember, the more data you put in, the better this will come out. And they'll even put in people that you want to connect with from school. So as you see, they're giving me a lot of people with nothing on their profile. Hmm. Why? Because I just built mine. So they don't have enough data to give me a lot of people with profile photos. So would you want to connect with someone like this? Or would you want to connect with someone that had something a little bit more like this? So in president of Vancouver Engineering, at least now we know what he does. Here's just president, no picture, no nothing. Do you want to engage with them? See, these are just titles. Is that driving you to engage with them? Probably not. They're very boring. At least you get a little bit more. Capitals, remember folks, capitals, you're shouting at people. Please don't do that. Jobs, if you're looking for a job, message, messages. So if someone's sending you private messages, this is the place to go. I wish mine looked like that <laughs> one day. Notifications. So people in your network, they might be changing jobs, having birthdays, doing something, posting articles. This is where it is. I actually look at my notifications every day when I, that's the first thing I look at. Because if someone got a promotion, a job, a birthday, I always congratulate them. Happy birthday, whatever the case may be. That increases your engagement. That increases your analytics. That also increases now by connecting with one person. Give you the analytics on this. So let's say I connect with Bob Smith here. And Bob has, say, 3,000 people in his network. He accepts my invitation. And now guess what? I now have, I go from third, third level or second level connection to Bob is now my first level and all his 3,000 are now second level connections. So they do it by connections. If we're connected, Bob and I are connected, we're first level connections. Anyone in Bob's network that I'm not connected to and anyone in my network that Bob is not connected to are each of ours second level connections. Third level connections are now say, I connect with Bob, first level. All his peeps in his contacts are my second level. All those people that are connected are third level. So your third level could be in the hundred thousands, even in millions. I personally don't want to connect with third connection. That's too distant. I usually see people, it's like second connections, and it will give you a reference on your page of who, how are they connected with you? Let's get back into the, my profile here. And we're going to look at the feed. So then when you connect with people, 
it's going to say like, hey, Bob, Smith, if I look at Bob Smith's profile, it'll say second degree connection. And it'll say, you also have how many people are both connected to. So we both have the same connections or second degree connections. Now that gives me a reason to go, hey, Bob, let's connect. I see your friends have Jane. I know Jane. How do you know Jane? Let's connect. So now Bob accepts the connection like, oh, Jane's the great greatest. How do you know Jane? And now we have a conversation. Why? We know someone in common. So simple. Another area is that notifications I mentioned to you. You're me. That's you. See how it has now your title. That's why this is so critical. This is what people see. This is prime. Hello. How do you do real estate? Take advantage of it. You can view your profile, your settings and privacy. I highly recommend you go through, check your settings and profile. It always defaults to what LinkedIn likes. You might not like all that, but check that out. Your help section, post, how to manage your posts and activity, job posts. It, as you see, LinkedIn is actually, you're seeing a lot about jobs. LinkedIn is one of the top five places to find a job. Why? I can actually connect with the hiring manager here on the platform. I can't do that on any other job sites. But LinkedIn, I can go right to the hiring manager. I can go right to the president, right to the CEO, right to whoever. They're probably on here. And sign out. Now we're going to talk about, oh, all I did was click on over here. Oh, it says work. So this is work. So these are your insights that you saw. Post a job. Okay, LinkedIn does charge if you post a job, but there are other ways around it. If you want to advertise, they have advertising. Find leads. This is Sales Navigator, which we will not be covering today. That is a paid subscription. I'm just showing you the free version of everything right now. I love Sales Navigator. I use it. I pay for it. And I get my ROI on that all day. I would not recommend anyone who is not well-versed and you don't have your profile set up and what is the purpose that you're going to use Sales Navigator for, I wouldn't recommend buying it. Groups. Now, you could be part of many different groups. So we can just hop in here real quick. So obviously, I don't have any groups. You can create a group here. So you can create a group. You can see who you requested. Or you can search, let's say, accounting. So we could say accounting, and it'll say all results. Now it's going to show people, jobs, everything. But I want to look for groups. So now these are groups already set up. Well, that's a pretty good size one. And you can go to the group and just ask to join. Some are private, so they might have some rules and regulations. Always read that. But let's say, hey, I want to join. All right, it was that easy. So groups are great. It's a, they are a lot of conversations here. Here's the amazing thing. Now that I'm in this group and I want to increase how many people I'm connected with and meet people in the accounting world, guess what? I now have a lead list of 294,000 basically. So I can actually reach out to all these people in this one group. Hey, you know, so hi, who are you? Let's see, whoever that guy is. Hey, you, we're in the same accounting finance professional group. I thought it'd be great since we have a similar comp, something in common. Let's connect. They'll probably connect with me. Why? We have something in common. So groups are very, very powerful. Another place is service marketplace to sell things. Now, they do have a lot of rules and regulations on that, so we're going to skip over all that. But the one we're going to go to is a company page. Now, for your Toastmaster Club, you can set up a group which is more interactive, or a page, your call. They are a little different. I would say play around with it. So as you see, LinkedIn page, are you a company, showcasing, or education? They usually throw all the Toastmasters in here. Why? Nonprofit. Now you have to fill in a whole bunch of stuff. So go ahead and complete this. Now, once we get, once again, logo, complete everything. If you have your group logo, your Toastmaster Club logo, 
If you're using the Toastmaster logo, make sure you read the brand requirements on that. But in your tagline, you have to verify that you are the officer on this and you have the right to do this on your behalf. So put all this information, create a group. Now it's gonna show you back to your page, go back. When we get back to your page, it's gonna show like you're the admin, if you went to group, sorry, or pages, it's gonna show that you are the admin of that group and you can make changes. You can actually have co-admin, this is great. So in case you can't post, can't watch what's going on, but this is a way to entice people on LinkedIn to go to your group or page or your Toastmaster club or your business. Invite them in. I get at least 10, 15 invites to join a group, join a, be a part on a page, whatever it is. Why? They want more engagement. The more people that are on those pages, higher engagement, higher analytics. So offer the offer it out to people and going, hey, please join our group. And even I put uh, Toastmasters in here as in the experience part. So I do my Toastmaster role for my district service. It is in the experience. So when people look at my profile, one of the common things I see is like, oh, I'm in Toastmasters in this state. Oh, I'm in Toastmasters in this country, whatever it is. They have some, we have something in common. It's a much easier way to connect with people. And then if I have a group page going, listen, I have a group, we meet hybrid. We have in-person and virtual. We'd love to have you as a guest anytime because they could do the virtual option. Here, here's the page. Here's how to do it. This is a way to increase engagement and get members. And that's the name of the game. But your personal profile needs to be completed to its fullest. Remember, it's about with them. It's about what's in it for me. You're not the me, they are the me. I hope that helps. We went through a lot of stuff very fast. Take your time, look at it, get some other people's opinions on what does your profile look like? What does it say about you? And if you have a current profile, get some opinions. Saying, if you didn't know me and you saw my profile, what would you think? I've done that with many business owners, and they always come back like, I looked at my own profile. I'm not happy. I need help. Yeah, because this is blank. They have a photo of them and their dog on the beach, which is not professional by any means. So it's saying, oh, good. You don't work. You and your dog are at the boot beach. Professional photo. Nothing's filled out. So no one knows anything about you. You can go to someone's page going self-employed president. What does that really mean? That's actually very, very important to a lot of people because why would I want to connect with you if I don't even know what you really do? It looks like your skills are accounting marketing, but that doesn't give me enough to go on. Pass. You want people to connect. You want to get them engaged. You want to start building the relationship and start either getting them in your Toastmaster group, your club, or if it's for business, or if you're looking for a job. Got to think, if you're looking for a job, this better be polished. Get rid of all the gunk. This has to be crystal clear because those hiring managers, I can guarantee you, even if you didn't connect on LinkedIn, they get your resume. Maybe you went through another job site. They get your resume. Believe me, they are checking you out on LinkedIn as well as Facebook and everything else. So clean this up, make it professional. Well, I hope that helps you set up a professional LinkedIn profile, as well as setting up a group or a page for your Toastmaster club, for your business. Make it look good. Get other people's opinions on it because and make it about with them, about them. How do, are you serving them? What do you do? What is your target market? Who do you do it with? What are their problems? How do you fix them? And then a call to action. Do they need to get on a call with you? Watch a video, whatever the case may be. Make your LinkedIn profile rocking and hit that all-star status. Hope you had a great time. This is Steve Feld talking about LinkedIn.
Have a great day and enjoy the rest of TLI.